I was just surfing the web today and I heard that Google just bought a online photo editing website called Picnic. This is at picnic.com. And I decided to take a look at it because if Google touches something, it's usually, well, there's usually a good reason for it. And the other reason I wanted to take a look at it is because I'm looking for alternative ways to edit images for web pages uh, as opposed to having to uh, buy very expensive photo editing software like Photoshop. Of course, you can never expect, you know, an online editing suite, well, at least not for now, to be as powerful as Photoshop. But fortunately for us web designers, really, you don't typically need to do much to prepare images for the web. So uh, we're going to take a look at this and we'll try it out. Well, before I click on the getting started, if you look, it says you can crop, resize, rotate, special effects, uh, awesome fonts, works on Mac. Well, okay, no download, nothing to install. This is the key here. So let's try it out and see how well it works. Now, I am running this particular site on an older browser, not an older browser, an older computer while recording video. So it's, uh, you know, it seems to be running pretty well. So let's upload a photo. So I'm going to go into my desktop. I got that. Okay, that's pretty fast. So we got our photo here. Now let's edit. Let's, uh, let's crop it. Click to drag. Okay, so here's our cropping tool. It's like Photoshop. So I'm just going to get these uh, these uh, ABC dice here. So I'm going to OK. And then I'll, uh, you can set the dimensions here, scale. So I'm just going to go OK. And here's our image. That's pretty cool. So let's, um, what else can we do? We can uh, affect the colors. We've got our sliders here. Interesting. So I'll just cancel that. And, uh, well, you know, for a lot of web work, you really just need to crop things, maybe work on some colors, sharpen some stuff. So uh, what I'm going to do is um, you can overlay text here. Well, 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 see? Touch up stickers, overlay text, add effects, and more stuff. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to save this image for now. I'm going to choose an image type of uh, PNG. And we'll leave everything the same, 100%. I'll just save the photo. And it prompts us to select where we want to download it. I go, no, we're going to call Cover Sites 2, save. That's, uh, that's pretty cool, right? So let's look at our desktop. And uh, Cover Sites 2. And uh, there you go. We've edited the photo very quickly, produced a PNG ready for insertion into your web pages without having to, uh, of course, without having to uh, buy any web design software. This, is, of course, is for simple, quick operations. But modern web design today, really, you know, a lot of times you just need simple image editing to uh, achieve your common goals. It's something worth exploring. There's Picnic, there's something called Aviary. And uh, we'll see that's it there. There we go. Here's another one that allows you to uh, edit images and do all kinds of stuff. Actually, actually, it looks like they got more advanced stuff. They got audio editing, screen capture capabilities. Again, a web based solution that allows you to do all kinds of things. This is uh, an alternative to perhaps using installed software like Photoshop. And again, I'm not claiming that things like Aviary or Picnic are going to replace Photoshop, but for certain simple media image, sound, screen capturing um, applications, things that you may want to do, this could be uh, an interesting solution for you.